Hey everybody, it's Pat Larna from TheCoolestCouple.com and in this video series, part of our CoolTribeTips.com we're going to cover Ping FM. So, what is Ping FM? Well, a good place to find out some information on Ping FM is going to Wikipedia and it will bring up a little definition and give you some background of what Ping FM is. In a nutshell, Ping FM um, syndicates for you. Uh, it does status updates, blogs, and microblogs. So the three services are status updates, which we're going to be covering today, does blog updates, and microblogs. Now, some of the pros about Ping FM, the processing is done on their servers. They have 39 different social sites that you can syndicate with. What we really like about it is it integrates well with Hootsuite, Skype, and Google Reader. And one of our favorites, the cost for Ping FM, well, it's free. Now, some of the cons, it doesn't work with CAPTA sites. So if you use Dig or Mix, that's still a challenge with uh, with Ping FM as the information it doesn't allow it doesn't pop up the captchups because everything runs on the Ping FM servers. Okay, so let's just go over an overview of how you set up your Ping FM account. Of course, you're going to go to www.pingfm, and when you sign up, all it requires is an email and a, a password. And we're going to walk through these all in a second. And within the Ping FM uh, slash network, you can sign up and authorize all the different networks that they have. So let's look at the different networks that they currently have. These are the supported sites. There are 39 of them. So the major ones, Twitter, Facebook, Facebook Pages, Google, MySpace, Ning. And you can read through the rest of these, uh, the ones that we really like, Link, LinkedIn, uh, BrightKite, FriendFeed, uh, Plaxo we use quite a bit, Delicious. Okay. Now anyone that's using only wire, there is a bit of overlap, and we've identified the, uh, the overlap. So there's 15 sites that overlap between Ping FM and only wire. And uh, if you go to the coolestcouple.com forward slash Ping FM 101, we'll have this handout that you can download and use. So with the overlap, what we do is we use uh, Ping FM as our main social service provider that does all the syndication for us and we use only wire for anything that is not on ping fm so updates postings and again we're going to walk through this right away uh, there's a dashboard uh, a couple other ways that you can do postings you can use the google toolbar uh, there's a plugin that you can download a firefox plugin and we'll walk through that and we use Hootsuite quite a bit to do our updates. And for checking status, it's ping FM forward slash recent. We'll walk you through and show you what got updated. So let's get into it. So this is what ping FM looks like. Again, ping.fm. And to sign up, all you require is an email address and a password. It doesn't even do an email confirmation. Now I've created a new account that I'm going to log into. Create a test account. I'm going to log into here to, to the test account. And just before I do that, I'm going to bring up my my current live account. So this is what we use. Uh, these are all the social sites that we've we've attached to our dashboard. Okay. And they, anytime I make a, a submission with uh, Ping FM, it goes out to all these different sites. What we're going to do here now is this is a brand new account. We have no site set up, as you can see here. So you click here to add new network. And let's what you can do if you don't have Twitter, you can hold down your Control key and click on this, and that will then op go to Twitter and you can then create a account for Twitter we already have one and you can do that for all these different social networks probably take you about an hour, hour and a half to set them up 
we've done ours already. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add Twitter to Ping FM. So I'll just go add network. It's to ask me to link Ping FM to Twitter. I'm going to say yes. Click on this link. I'm going to allow this, allowing Twitter to have access to Ping FM. And if I go back to my dashboard, I now have one account. So if I did an update here, it would go and get posted to Twitter automatically. I'm going to add a few more into this test account. Let's add Facebook, add network, connect with Facebook. Now I'm already signed on to Facebook. If not, you could, uh, it was going to ask you to sign on to Facebook. Save settings. Now if I go back to my dashboard, I now have Twitter and Facebook. And I just keep going through this as I add more and more accounts. So if I want to add Google Buzz, look on here, link Ping FM to Buzz. I don't think I'm logged into uh, Google right now, so let me just log in. I use RoboForm to keep track of all my passwords. Do I want to, uh, Ping FM is requesting access to Google Buzz, do I want to allow it? I'm going to say no in this case because I already have it on my main account. I don't want to mess up anything that I currently have. So get Google Buzz won't be on here. And you just keep going through this and keep adding more networks. You've got to have the network set up first before you can add it to Ping FM. Okay, so just to prove that these little ones worked, let's go back to dashboard. Now I can ping, I can set a, a syndication or a, um, a status update within Ping FM right here. Now I've got a uh, one that I've already set up just to make my life a little easier. That's using short keys, which is just replacing my. Uh, I don't have to type this all in, and I'm just going to ping this. And then if I go to recent post here, click on that. This has told me that it's gone out to Twitter and to Facebook already. And just to confirm those, let's go to Twitter. Okay, so it hasn't yet been posted to Twitter. That should come down in a second. Again, there can be some delays. As it's posted on Ping FM, and it's not yet gone through to Twitter. So we'll give that a few seconds, we'll come back and check on those.